Hello, I'm Bernard Hickey from Interest.co.nz and welcome to an investing report brought to you in association with ASB. Today we're going to have a look at a couple of finance companies who have come out with plans to restructure themselves and delay repayment of the money that was invested with these two finance companies. Firstly, St. Lawrence Limited. It's a property financier based in Wellington that owed $240 million to over 7,000 investors. It was frozen back in June. It's come out with a plan to repay people up to 70% of their money over the next five years, and eventually it hopes to repay everything. It's also going to repay interest, it says, and there'll be a recapitalization where the owner of St. Lawrence, a guy called Kevin Podmore, will put some property forward to recapitalize the company. The second company coming forward with a repayment plan is Dorchester Pacific. It's also a property financier. It says it aims to repay all the capital within three years and to repay 20% by Christmas. Now what's at stake here is two companies who've said, we think we can manage our loans better than a receiver and you'll receive more money back by trusting us than trusting a receiver. There's a couple of things to think about here if you're an investor. Do you trust the management? Do you think the loan book is strong enough? And do you think a receiver would do a better job? These are all tough questions, particularly if you don't know what, what those loans are specifically, and you may not know the management involved. There's a couple of issues to think about. Firstly, the trustee. Do you think there's a good trustee involved here? Do you think the property market will recover? Some people think it does. And uh, well, I have to say I'm a bit of a skeptic on that front. And then the question, is receivership better than letting the company try and trade its way out? And there's a couple of pieces of history on this. Firstly, provincial finance, which collapsed back in May 2006, it was put into receivership almost immediately, and now 90% of the money has been returned after two years. On the other side of the coin, Bridgecorp, owned by Rod Protrusevich, was put into receivership almost immediately too. But the recovery on that is likely to be between 13% and 44%. So receivership is not necessarily the best thing, or the worst thing for that matter. It really all depends on the quality of the loan book involved, and the quality of the management, and the likely length of a property recession. Over the next few weeks, we should expect plans back from Hanover Finance, North South Finance, and Strategic Finance. Keep it tuned to interest.co.nz to find out what's happening there. This was an investing report brought to you in association with ASB. I'm Bernard Hickey for interest.co.nz.